never really thought I would have to make this video but uh, Psalm 150 it says praise ye the Lord praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power uh, praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness so these are all points of praise that we can uh, exalt his name for every new moon and Sabbath day for the church right praise him with the sound of the trumpet praise him with the psaltery and harp so uh, yeah some uh, so called Christian denominations uh, ban musical instruments when King David and uh, the other psalm writers they, they clearly used instruments and they had uh, tunes to these uh, psalms that they're actually songs most of them okay uh, praise him with the timbrel and the dance dance you see there's even Christians that say it's uh, well you shouldn't dance before the Lord oh really ever heard of Lord of the dance <laughs> praise him with the stringed instruments and organs organs don't even have organs I think the the Pope claims to have uh, um, invented the organ so I'm um, interested to know what the original Hebrew word for that is but that's interesting instruments and organs <laughs> is this a Mandela effect guys I mean this is the King James Bible right praise him upon the cloud symbols less sorry loud symbols praise him upon the high sounding symbols yeah the hi-hat and everything let everything everything I just said that that has breath praise the Lord praise you the Lord and I, I remember that uh, when I became a Christian uh, as, a, as a, there was a Christian couple that quoted this to me as their favorite um, you know we're talking about your favorite line from the Bible and I'm certain that they showed me this in the book of Revelation you know I made a video about this and I thought that this had been taken out of the last chapter of the book of Revelation because it's in it's the very last uh, line in uh, the Psalms so uh, anyhow could be mistaken about that but uh, let everything that has breath praise the Lord is God never bans musical instruments or dancing in his service in fact he encourages uh, organized even synchronized dancing where, where where you can give God the glory using your body using musical instruments because everything is holy um, unto him who has a pure heart before God you see and so if you're doing things for God's glory you're not doing it to impress people you're not doing it so that you can uh, get a date with uh, whatever this guy or this girl but you're actually just uh, using everything that you have um, to praise the Lord and that this is the way it should be um, this is the way this is what the Bible teaches and uh, you know, I was at a very interesting congregation at the at the weekend um i was I guess i was uh encouraged by this chap when i was out um doing my uh music and, and doing a doing a bit of uh ministering uh out on the street i uh, went to visit his church and uh it, it, i think they're church of christ which means that they don't believe in having musical instruments and I've I've been to ones, of course, that um, you know you should stand for prayer and sit for singing and all that kind of stuff, which is which is uh, really just men's tradition. That's what it is. Um, so I just I just pray that um, you see that the, the the further people are away from God's commandments, from doing God's commandments, the more they invent their own little rules and dogmas and traditions. You see. Um, God just laid it out before us obey his commandments through faith in his son Jesus Christ and praise his name all the time pray without ceasing as the apostle Paul says that's real Christianity and I think that people just don't like admitting to the fact that maybe they're just not born again maybe they just don't really know God as much as they say they do you know um, Maybe they're just trying to get a following rather than following Jesus Christ and using, um, allowing God to use them um, how he sees fit, you know. I don't really care about much about offending people. I, I don't like to offend people, um, you know, but 
when people do get offended, well, I, I, I have to evaluate the situation, and if I haven't, uh, you know, s sworn at them, if I haven't um, threatened them or caused them any mental or physical grief or harm, um, and that type of thing, and they're just being all touchy and acting uh, the victim and stuff like that, then I think I think they're the ones that need healed at the end of the day. Um, so there's a lot of healing that's uh, that comes through praise and worship music. When I was out in Africa, I saw a lot of deliverances happen. You know, you see a lot of deliverances in the TVs and all that stuff. Now, if you're actually all praising God as a congregation and giving God glory, it's amazing the, the demons that just pop out of people. And I've seen that. I've seen it. And people just getting healed instantaneously through praise and worship. Um, and so this, this is an area that just happens um, in heaven. There's continual praise and worship all the time, and I, and also I, I do uh, think that there is uh, music in heaven as well. It's not just uh, just singing without instruments. I think there are instruments in heaven as well. Okay, um, Hallelujah. So I hope uh, this has benefited you. Um, this little bit of ministering here through this Psalm 150. Thank you for listening, and may the Lord bless you.